make a modern photo look aged and faded. 1. Make a mono version. Open your image and go to Window, Channels. Here you will see the arrangement of different colored pixels in your image. Click through the different channels and select the one which give you the most interesting mono look. Then go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. Photoshop will ask you if you wish to discard the other channels. Click OK and then save the image with a new name. Two, blend mono with color. Hit Ctrl A to select all, then Ctrl C to copy. Open the original colored image and hit Ctrl V to paste the mono version onto a new layer. In the layers palette, play around with the opacity of your mono layer until you're happy with the amount of color that shows through. Try to make the image feel faded with unusual or slightly weird highlights and shadows. 3. Add a texture. Have a look online for an interesting texture. Search sites like cgtextures.com or deviantart.com for a high resolution aged fabric or paper texture. Something that is already brown works well. 1. When you've downloaded the texture, copy and paste it onto a new layer in the same way as you did with your mono version, so Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. 4. Adjust your textured layer. If it doesn't fit, go to Edit, Transform, Scale and use the corner handles to resize it. Hit Enter when it covers the whole image in the layers palette. Play around with the blending mode and opacity until the texture is visible but not overpowering. Try modes such as hard light, soft light, overlay or multiply. The color of your texture will determine which mode works best. Go to layer, flatten image. 5. Create an adjustment layer. Click and hold the rectangular marquee tool and select the elliptical marquee tool. In the tool options at the top of the screen, add some feathering to soften the edge of your selection. Click and drag to select an ellipse in the middle of your image. Go to select, inverse. Click on the create new fill or adjustment layer icon, half black, half white circle, at the bottom of the layers palette and select levels. 6. Create a vignette. A new layer will appear with an oval layer mask. The changes that you make to the image will occur in this layer in the corners, leaving the original intact in the background. In the adjustment palette, slide the black point to the right to darken the shadows. Now, slide the white point to the left to lighten the highlights. This will leave a dark vignette around the corners of your image. Success!